My name is Alex Lawrence and I'm a 4-5 teacher at Gaimi Bay Public School. The guiding principle in my classroom is, is ensuring technology supports my teaching and the students' learning and that they are engaged. My vision is a truly collaborative and engaged class that, regardless of ability, are able to show me what they are learning in meaningful ways. I want to make sure that I'm not just substituting. I don't want to replace writing with typing or a book with an e-book. I truly want to redefine tasks. In my classroom, I have begun to redesign traditional tasks with what is now referred to as app smashing. Green screen technology and Toontastic to engage reluctant writers and to encourage budding filmmakers. A school news program that incorporates all facets of technology, using emojis to explore context cues, podcasts during reading groups with a Flipgrid video discussion reflection, exploring the world with 360 degree city and Nearpod virtual reality, and uploading it all to Seesaw to share with family and friends. I can see and hear my students collaborating, sharing ideas and learning in a completely new way, but in a way that is so second nature for them. A byproduct of this is that differentiation is occurring organically. Children who historically struggled with the layout of worksheets and understanding the task at hand are able to capture, label and share their work. Over the development of many of these tasks, I have discovered that I can much better cater for all learning styles and the very nature of these opportunities allows my students' personal choice to focus on the learning and show me what they understand. I have hosted over 150 individual school visit observations to my classroom and I love sharing digital innovations. Wasn't primary school supposed to be boring? There were a lot of steps to completing this project. First, we had to get all the information we need to research about the planets. We then used Keynote to collect the information and present it to the class. We then took the next step further by finding pictures and putting them into Chatterpix to bring the images to life. We then took the chatter pixels and popped it onto an Erasma. Erasma is now known as HP Reveal. And then we hooked the Erasma up with our trigger images like all the planets. And then we put all the information from our chatter pics and then we erasmed it. So you, when you would scan it, it would come back up. We then used QR code reader to take people to real satellite photos in the space station, in the moon and Mars. We then used Telegami to explain the process of what we had done and reflect on what we had learnt and all the apps we smashed to make this project awesome. 